The first customer review I ever received on a book was unkind to say the least. But once I was able to look at it objectively, I realized that at least one point had merit. This was in regards to my characters being underdeveloped, so I set out to correct this shortcoming. Now it is my desire to share what I have learned out of the hope others may avoid my mistakes and produce better characters the first time. The first thing to keep in mind is that a well-rounded character requires the writer to know far more about them than will ever end up in the story itself. There are many things which we do not know about a person upon first meeting them, or even for years afterward, but it is a part of what we do see in their attitude and personality. The same is true for the relationship between readers and fictional characters. For an imaginary person to feel alive to the reader, to feel real, there must be things about them that remain unknown, at least for a time. So when you are creating a new character, don't worry so much about what happens in the story, even when it comes to their role in it. Focus on them as an individual and what made them the way they are when they first appear. Ask yourself why they do certain things, why do they treat others the way they do, etc. Consider the circumstances in their lives that molded them, whether they allow those things to define them or if they rose above, and write out some examples. The best thing to do, especially if you're creating multiple characters, is to have a go-to character creation sheet guiding the process. There are plenty of examples online which can be found by searching character sheet, character guide, character questionnaire, etc. Or you can create your own. I finally adapted the one I've been using for years into a version I feel works better for me, which you should be seeing on your screen now. Ask and answer specific questions. What were they like as a child? Did anything change about them in their teen years, and why? What are their hobbies? Fears? Family and friends? Hopes and dreams? Talents? Keep going until you've answered everything that comes to mind. Not every question has to be answered, or even the same questions for each new character but you'll get to know this person better with each aspect of them you describe. It also makes it easier to prevent them from having contradicting traits, or to have a reason prepared if that should happen. Some of these things will even find their way into the story where otherwise you never would have thought of it. Something of which I have to constantly remind myself about that I wish to pass on to you as a word of warning is to not overthink it. All of this work greatly improves the story, but the more time you spend on this phase is less time spent on the story itself. When you're writing, your characters will further grow and develop as the story unfolds in your own mind. Don't worry about getting it perfect and allow the process to guide you as much as you guide it. If you spend enough time with any given character, they will cease to be a simple figment of your imagination and will become their own entity living in your head. Yes, I admit to having arguments with my characters and they tend to randomly pop into my life to poke fun at me when they get bored. They also have some good advice for me on occasion, which for whatever reason I am either unwilling or unable to tell myself. At some point, you'll find that you're not even thinking about the questions on the character sheet anymore. You'll be writing them and their scenes by pure instinct as they show you the way. Remember, the more real your characters are to you, the more alive they will feel to your readers. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you'll always see when I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where you'll see more of my original content. Links in the description below.